Hello and welcome back to the Coos channel. Today we're looking at a new cut video which I thought was very interesting and should be covered on the channel. It's on who you think looks like a model and it goes back to what I've been saying previously. The perceptions that people have on what they think the modeling industry is actually like is very different. It's not all about runway shows and looking high fashion. Uh, oftentimes models are just regular looking people and those are the most lucrative jobs and the most consistent jobs that you can get in that type of work. OnlyFans model? Yeah. Oh, OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> when you think model, like, what do you think? Steely eyes, very thin, very pale. I think mullets are kind of in right now. Maybe athletic or slender looking. Today, you're going to be guessing who's a model. Are you a model? I am. I'm not a model, no. You ever thought about it? Yeah, I've thought about it. That doesn't give me any kind of credence to do it. My daughter, she's currently modeling. She started when she was really young, and now she's almost 11, so she's seven years in. How do you think you can spot a model? I think a lot of it really is in the eyes. Just if they're looking through me, I feel like I'm more likely to be like, okay. What kind of modeling? And I've done a lot of sports, beauty, parts. Hands? Hands and feet. Is this like OnlyFans? No, 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 no. I know that I would make a killing off OnlyFans, but it hasn't gotten that hard for me yet. <laughs> All right, let's have the line head on out there. What a good looking group of people. Walk on out there. This is your first person. Hey. Hi, I'm Layla. First impressions, give it to me. Well, she's obviously Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like the life of the Sorry. party. I do notice that like when I go out, people want to talk to me and mm -hmm. are friendly. I don't know if that's because of the hijab or what. It sounds to me like you have a magnetic personality. The eye is very kind. Thank you. Hmm. Does a model have kind eyes? That's the thing. That's what I'm thinking here. It's like, oh. I'm just going to put my predictions in right now. She's definitely a model. And if I had to guess, she's a lifestyle model because she has a very approachable look. But almost too nice. Oh, too nice. Yeah. Now. Um, could I see you walk? Yes. See that? Model. Yes. Okay, I always find this funny. Um, the perception of what makes a model is based on the way you walk, which is so silly because uh, the runway sector it's makes up less than five percent and i believe we covered this in an interview i did with one of the uh largest modeling agency or one of the largest or the oldest modeling agencies in sydney and the runway sector makes up a very small percentage of the entire modeling market and the available of the availability of jobs and for that reason you j judging someone based on the way they walk is is not a determinant of whether you're a model or not uh, rather what I'm actually judging her face by is how approachable she looks how much like a normal everyday person the girl next door the the neighbor next door does she look like and if you remember in a lot of lifestyle ads think of like your Toyota ad with mom dad and the two kids those are lifestyle ads and for that reason this is where people like her would really be beneficial in um, portraying just the average person the, the somebody you can relate to and she has a nice face it's very friendly and relatable with a lot of soft features that make it more feminized and for that reason I can see her definitely being in a lifestyle category also the secondary thing and as politically incorrect as this may sound she fits many diversity quotas that's literally how the industry works Take it from somebody who has worked in the industry, take it from the interview I did with somebody who is a market leader in the industry. Diversity quotas are important and she fits too. She's um, Muslim and she's also a person of color. For that reason, she would most likely, I'm very certain she is a lifestyle model. What's model? I'm going to say yes. She's a model. Why? <laughs> a lot of people, they think model, they think of like high fashion, Vogue. It's not always that. I did a job for Amazon where I'm on a freaking bike with a helmet on and I look like a mail carrier. Like, it's just normal. Exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. A lot of people think of Vogue and high fashion when, when you say modeling. The most, the majority of modeling is just regular people doing regular things for, um, they're really, in a sense, they're, they're not selling their look. They're selling their... Um, how would I say? I guess they're selling their body, like the silhouette of their body, because they're wearing clothes and um, we, they're just glorified mannequins. You you don't um, with with modeling. A lot of times, uh, 
casting directors and the people in charge uh, so usually marketing managers they hire models based on their Instagram following they hire them based on their popularity and their influence and a lot of times they hire them just because they need somebody to fill in the clothes not necessarily for the way their face looks not necessarily for the way their body looks they just need somebody to be a stand-in for the clothes and uh, that's also another type of modeling really common in e-commerce stuff normal Muslim people is a model type Go exactly what I said. Shape. Diversity yeah. quotas. Just, I, you look too nice. I'm too I, nice. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Do you feel nice. like models are mean people, like inherently? More like intimidating, not necessarily okay. like mean. Okay. Okay. Yes, no. Okay. <laughs> She's quite cool. I like okay. her. Very Hi. friendly Jane. personality. Jane, good, good to meet you. you. Cool fashion. I She's also a model. Fit. You're very like. You're very fit. Unusually so. <laughs> yes, I I um, work out a lot. I would love a walk. Okay. Okay. Do okay. Why do I think she's also a model? Well. She is older, she is an older lady, but she's also very fit as the first guy pointed out. And for that reason, this is also a unique niche that, um, niche or niche that a lot of uh, agencies do look for not not necessarily agencies but rather the marketing managers and uh, the people in charge of creating ad campaigns. They do look for this type of aesthetic, especially if you think of um, uh, I guess maybe this doesn't uh, apply as much to people in the States, but in Australia, there's a lot of campaigns with uh, people of all demographics doing all this kind of sporty stuff like Robo Sports or Nike ads. Even with a lot of Nike ads, I've seen uh, older people and younger people together doing also. Uh, I'll see if I can find an example to put up on the screen, but yeah. Okay. Again, the walk, the way you walk has nothing to do what with do whether you're a model or not. Best, like steel. If she is a. Sp um, what's it called a I guess again another type of lifestyle model she would not have no experience doing runway walks it's so it's, it's such a pet peeve of mine okay oh it does kind of feel like you are looking through me a little bit you know Instagram how's it going for you how many followers do you have a uh, thousand I lost my Instagram last year you so lost it no they took it away from me oh that's a clue why I also pull dance and I think it was my point. Oh, you're a model because you have the physicality <laughs> knocked down. My instinct says no. Oh, why do you think so? The miniature walk that you did, <laughs> something about it just didn't okay. feel right. So I'm going with my gut okay. instinct. Hello. Hello. Wow. I love the dress. Thank you. That's fantastic. I feel a little intimidated. Yeah. Okay, my guess here, just before everybody puts in their two cents, my guess here is she is not a model. And I say this because her look is too extreme. Um, uh, in the modeling industry, they it is very much a professional industry and they still have very traditional ideas of uh, what professionalism looks like in terms of the way you present yourself. And so piercings are a big no-no, especially the piercing, I don't know what that one's called, the lip, the upper lip piercing uh, that she has, that is a bit extreme. Tattoos are also a bit of a no-no because they, um, especially really big ones that cover your entire body because they, it's kind of like the model comes with like something on them uh, rather than trying to sell the clothes or the idea that the marketing manager is trying to convey right so it comes with a message already on them and for that reason most managers and people in charge avoid models with tattoos and um, unless it's a part of their aesthetic and I'll put up a few examples um, but generally, I think, yeah, it's very difficult unless you're already very popular, in which case they're not choosing you for the tattoos or anything you have. They're choosing you for the Instagram following or the influence that you have, which, to be fair, comes about as a result of having tattoos and, you know, fitting a certain aesthetic persona like bad boy um, or like feminine femboy or any one of those styles, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Lovely aesthetic. What's your name? Sid. Sid. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jason. Extremely charming way that you just said my name. Very. With my mouth? So do you know what? Am I wrong in thinking that that's like an extremely like seductive way to greet somebody? Maybe I'm a witch. I mean, oh. yeah, that's <laughs> immediately obvious to everybody. Like you just give me this vibe of like a luxurious vixen. Hmm. Now I'm looking at your earrings. Maybe you might do like fetish modeling, maybe like whips and chains and some more stuff. The earrings are such a strong. To be fair, I didn't think of fetish modeling. I don't really know much about that. So I'm just looking at her um, aesthetic from a uh, very traditional sense of modeling because that's what I do know. Choice. And you have a tooth tattoo. I don't even know what to call it's it. A tooth gem. Yeah, tooth gem. it's an alien. Yes, I think she's a model. I yeah. think that is a guaranteed yes. Yeah, I'm going to go with model. I'm going to yeah. go with no. Beautiful. 
<laughs> yeah, you're very controversial striking. opinion, hot take. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Robbie. Hi, Robbie. What's your initial read on this individual? Well, Robbie is cute as a button, right? So as a mom, I'm like, I could be your mom. You're really cute. You look uh, like you got a bit of a spark and a spunk to you. A lot of strong fashion choices. How old are you? 18. You still in high school? Yes, I was. Yeah, I left art class to come here. You left art class to I come did. here. I'm going to need to see a very fierce look. I'm going to need to see your best. <laughs> Again, fierce looks, runway walks. These are very um, what th these are very normative ideas of what people think models are um, or what the industry is because nobody really knows anything about the industry other than what uh, you see in Vogue magazine. This has nothing to do with whether they are qualified to be a model or not. In fact, one of the most important things on whether you're qualified to be a model is is if you can show up on set on time. Etiquette, your the way you behave yourself, the the way you conduct yourself, your professionalism, those are the most important characteristics. Because a lot of models just can't be can't be asked to um, just be professional with their job, take it very seriously, and uh, for whatever reason I don't know, but. Professionalism is paramount in this industry. Okay, okay, yeah. So, he smiled. What is on your tongue? I found a Jolly Rancher back. Look at his tongue. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so blue, dude. I would be inclined to say that he either has some kind of modeling experience, but he isn't a model currently. And um, a reason for this is because he's really in between looks. Um, he is quite young, he's 18, mind you, so he's not fully developed enough, um, facially speaking, or in his aesthetic that he wants to go with. Because if you remember, when most of you were 18, um, which is like high school, you, you probably all um, were still trying to figure out where you want to go with, um, with really your life and uh, the way you want to be treated by others and the way you want to look. So for that reason, this guy is also kind of in that stage where uh, he doesn't really have a certain brand to himself, uh, whereas with everybody else who are a bit older, they all have uh, a certain aesthetic and it's very easy to pinpoint who could go where, what brands they could work with. Like I could look at the lady on the far right um, and say she could work with like ASIC or um, uh, Nike or something like that. Um, I'm trying to find brands that relate to everyone in the world, the world audience, not just Australian brands. But yeah, so she, um, yeah, so everybody else has like a very defined aesthetic that they could work with. Uh, whereas with him, he's in between looks, as, as they say. Since you're giving it a, a Zoomies vibe, how would you model for them? Probably with like a Versi camera. I'll definitely go with one of those or, you know, holding the skateboard. Mm. It's interesting. I think he's an aspiring model. I feel like okay. some models, they will not some. Yeah, so exactly that. What I was going to say is what's interesting is that um, he does know his poses and those poses were actually very good poses because um, if you're trying to sell that um, very young uh, youthful aesthetic again Th those are good poses like I, I don't know if you've seen that pose but the one where the foot's extended out towards the camera that's often used in a lot of uh, footwear and a lot of uh, sportswear companies especially well, rebel sport in australia i'm not sure if rebel sports a global brand or an australian brand but yeah that's that's a common ad campaign uh, look that i've seen a lot and he could work with that so he does know the poses and that's not something you would know from watching a YouTube video because I've never seen that particular pose uh, ever be covered. I've never seen that entire niche, that sportwear niche um, be covered on YouTube, like poses for sports modeling or something like that, right? Um, sportswear modeling. So I think he, he might actually be a model or have some kind of modeling experience, but isn't a model currently. Usually exude this confidence. I'm not saying that you're not confident, but it's not the model confident. I'm going to say yes. All I right. mean, and if not, I mean, look at this. I actually thought he yeah. was very confident. No, he was no, very no, nonchalant and laid back, which is a different type of confidence. Your tongue matches your eyes. I know you did that on purpose. Uh, I'm going to say no. If, just with the smile, even though, like, I won the battle there, you know? <laughs> won the battle. <laughs> when it comes to fierce looks. It's fine. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Hello. What's your name? DJ, D, DJ. Yeah, I heard you. I was just calculating. Could I see your hands, maybe? Okay. Not a hand model. She I was calculating say. facial ratios. Oh. Yeah, I mean, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Do a few poses. He's not a model. Dude, you got a cute nose, dude. Just from the pose, that's my model. guess. I think it is no. 
the confidence is there with the clothes, but not exactly in the demeanor. Can I yes, get that or? that's that's actually really well put by that guy. Um, the guy before, so the eighteen year old, the young dude, he had uh, when when they were asked to pose, both of them compare how they posed. Uh, this guy, the one we're looking at now, his pose was very basic, like you'd pose for a Instagram photo, but you don't really know how to pose, so you just pose with your boys. Um, I don't know, maybe put up some gang signs or something, whatever it is that people do in the Instagram posts. But the other guy actually had some very unique and creative poses that would uh, accentuate the product that he's trying to sell. So again, with the zoomies vibe, as the lady said, um, you stick the foot out, we have the skateboard as a prop. Those are things that only somebody who's working currently or has worked as a model would know. And uh, this guy who probably hasn't worked as a model um, doesn't really have much of a pose to go for. So most models who do have a lot of experience, um, they do know a lot of poses. They do know how to work uh, the angles really well. So that's my judgment that he's not a model, but just based off that one pose. <laughs> Again, see, these are very basic. <laughs> these are like Instagram poses that you do oh, when you don't know what to do. He has the toys. He's got the girl. Your girl does it with you or you do it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> hey. Hi. I'm Steph. Steph, good nice to, meet to meet you. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Um, hmm. My guess is that she's a sportswear model and um, sportswear like, you know, Nike and Rebel and ASIC and all that stuff. Uh, and also she has very silky hair, which is some, I don't know why, just, this is something I noticed. But she's also quite tall and um, that's also a benefit to being a model. Great skin, crazy high cheekbones. Your skin is really nice, I'm really jealous. First thing I'm noticing is just the way she's posed. So she had a little bit of a foot forward, she's got her hands at her side. Her face like also has really good walk. symmetry. Um, so take that with what you will. The walk is also very good, a lot of hips, so no comments there. Walks, okay, yeah, that's a fashion model walk if I've seen one. Yeah, she's certainly a model. I mean, Can I see it's very easy to put her into an archetype <laughs> that she could, what industry she could work for in the modeling uh, world. She's a foot model, for sure. Yeah. Definitely not a foot model. Secure my picks, but I would not be surprised. Okay, just to clarify, she's not a foot model because with foot modeling, it's much like hand modeling. How do I know this? Because um, <laughs> I've actually met a hand model and hand modeling and foot modeling are very similar. Uh, there are certain skin tones that they take and her skin tone is far too light to be a hand or a foot model. I think there's a video on this um, by Ins Business Insider or something on hand modeling and uh, I think they speak about this as well. That there's certain skin tones that you have to be if you want to be a hand or a foot model. surprised if I'm fully wrong. I mean, I've been in the game for long enough that I feel like I know what I ta I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, with a show of hands, who did Jesse guess correctly? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Pretty, I didn't do good. too bad. No, yeah. not at all. Nice. With a show of hands, who did Anjali guess correctly? Hold them up high. Are you <laughs> Wow, I need to step it up. Well, let's hear it from him. So you got me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You said I look nice, and that's actually what normally books me. They want me to seem nice Okay, and so she is a model, like, and I got that one door, right. But, you know, the hijabi girl next door. Well, hijabi girl next door, that's what I, I said. I love being validated like and getting hijab, it correct. But I found that actually my career has never taken off more than wearing the hijab. Right. Do you get typecast as like a, a diversity person? Hell yeah, all yeah. the time. But that's what I, I said. Like that's how the industry works. I'm going to hire diverse models, then we're a step in the right direction. because. 20 years ago, they weren't even pretending to like Oh my gosh, so, right. You know. So I didn't choose correctly for <laughs> Jane. Okay. I'd love to know what you do, what type of modeling? Yeah, so I started doing some fitness modeling because I'm an older lady who's fit. <laughs> what is a fitness model? Yeah, like for like fitness shoes equipment. or sure. fitness equipment or like a treadmill company or something. Sure. Like that. So you call yourself To be fair, like I kind of guessed it like wrong. I put her down as a sportswear model, which is a bit different to fitness modeling, so fair. Yeah, yeah. I, do you think that that works to your benefit and being 100%. able to get jobs? We've got a lot of fitness companies. And so there's a need for an older person who's fit. I got you wrong? Yes. Oh. Are you surprised? Uh, yeah. I'm not a professional model, no. Oh, well, you should try. 
I, you know, would I, you want to be one? No, I don't. I don't want to be a model. I do love fashion. I like creating things and shapes and textures and working with my body type I, I and just that. like having fun with the way that I look. Right. You got like a uh, very Fifty Shades of Grey demeanor, do you? Are you part of that world? Well, not professionally. <laughs> <laughs> I got this one right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I'm a model. I do mostly print modeling. As soon as you walked away, I was like, man, I really missed that He one. does print modeling, which is something I wouldn't expect, actually. It's so interesting that you were talking about my youthfulness. I actually started when I was very small. Uh, I completely ignored the demographic of, like, child models. Yeah, so... That's uh, a whole thing. Uh, I do commercials as well, so oh. I'm usually casted as... Uh, very friendly looking teenager. So my steely look is right. something that they tell me to work on too. I guess you're wrong. You guess me wrong. Oh, you should be flattered. <laughs> I am flattered. People always think I'm a model. I buy it, dude. Yeah. Um, Wait, you don't do the only He is a good looking know, guy, but um, he just me, doesn't have the confidence and the professionalism like, in his poses. Look. So that's what's a I big tell. To, but I do like to get naked and take pictures. That's like my whole thing. Do you have any advice for like the OnlyFans for me? <laughs> Just drop the link. Just drop the link. So I do fashion. Uh, recently, I just walked New York Fashion Week. My long-term goal is to walk Gucci, Louis, wow, all of that. Yeah. Okay, so the feet, was I right with that? For OnlyFans, like model. model oh. feet? No. Oh. <laughs> no, but I mean, I have considered it, but I've just been trying to decide where I would have promoted it because I don't want to promote it on my Instagram. Feet modeling. Thirsty dollars. How was that for you, Trey? It was good. I, I felt, I feel good about my experience. I, the I girl on the far right has very has good changed. posture compared to everyone else. That's, that's a key characteristic that I, I mean, see with I a lot of models. Um, I can, I can they normally try. stand very straight. I don't know why. <laughs> Now that's a professional walk. All right, so there you have it. The comments, uh, they're not really that interesting in this particular video, so I'm not gonna go over them. I'm gonna keep the video very light and short, but hopefully that changed your idea of, well, maybe it didn't change anything, but it gave you a bit more of an insight into what the modeling industry is actually like. And um, it's it, runway modeling is a very, very small percentage. and. I guess they are the most popular models, so they are the most vocal minority in a sense, they are the most influential minority, but it is a very small percentage of what the modeling industry is actually like. And a lot of it doesn't even have to do with um, what what type of symmetry or proportions or your facial aesthetic or how attractive you are. It just has to do with whether you fit the client's brief or the typecast that they're trying to put you under, and that's just how the industry works.